The Redskins now narrowed their deficit in their all-time regular season series against the Packers to 15-8-1. They actually are 3-1 and one in the regular season against the Packers at FedEx Field. They own the Packers at <laughs> FedEx Field Cakes, which is particularly interesting considering their all-time home record at FedEx Field prior to this game was exactly 500. Yeah, we touched on that during the pregame show. I believe I stole that nugget from one Chris Russell, so now, who JP is accusing of destroying the television here in the studio. They're now 85 84 and 1 yeah. all time. Zero home field advantage. I'm really surprised by well, that. One game better. <laughs> one game better than five, 500. That's what 85, 500. 84, and 1. Where was the tie? Can't remember. And who knows? They can't tied remember. The I can't remember Arizona Arizona last Cardinals. year. <laughs> How would I know that? 85, 84, and 1. Yeah. Poo. Yep. Well, poo. no. Was, didn't they have the tie a couple of years ago? They finished 8, 7, and 1. Was that a home game? No, 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 that tie was in England. That was in London. That was in England. Ricky. Sorry. Remember they missed uh, the dog missed the field goal. He yeah, had a chip shot field I'm goal. I'm glad. D-Hop. D-Hop. Well, yeah. I'm glad that your memories are as bad as mine. And, and the big surprise in the Redskins tradition, the field sucked even over in London, as it usually does. Here's some more sort of random stats, somewhat bizarre. The Redskins have now earned back-to-back regular season wins against the Packers uh, for the first time since defeating them in the '86 and '88 season. Gee, who was that, Lynn Dickey? <clears throat> The win moves the Redskins to five and three Anthony against Dillweg. NFC North opponents under Jay Gruden. Go look that up. I think Lynn Dickey was quarterback in the Packers back then. The Redskins twenty eight ten. Of course, after the first half, they've now scored more points before the break for the second time out of the three games this season. The last time the Redskins scored twenty eight or more points in the first half. Wow was November 22nd, 2012, against the Dallas Cowboys. Lynn come Dickey out strong. stopped at 85 with the Packers. Oh, did he really? The disturbing thing is they have no touchdowns in the second half three games. Well, two of the three, they're kind of nursing leads, right? The Redskins have now outscored their opponent in the first half, and they've held, and then obviously do the math on that, to an average of eight points in the first two quarters. That's pretty good defense in the first half. Pretty good yeah. offense, too. Yes, it is. And um, the defense is doing this without Preston Smith and Kerrigan racking up a bunch of sacks. Yeah, they had four without those guys. Cakes, I have another guess. Magic okay. man, Don Mikowski. I think you nailed it because he was the quarterback from 87 to 92. All right, so we're still missing the guy in 86. Mm. We've got to find out who the Packers had in 86. Pedro, get on it. <laughs> Jason tight end Vernon Davis finished with uh, 70 receiving yards. On his two receptions. Yes, he did. Uh, His reception of 50 yards was the longest of the season. Davis now moves into 10th all-time in receiving yards among tight ends in Redskins history. The guy's barely been here, and he's already 10th all-time. Everybody loves VD. I keep saying it. 